Good afternoon. Welcome to my explanation for the next bit of probability, which is involving Venn diagrams and Karnow maps. So above me, above my head, I've got a Venn diagram. And what I've done is shaded the different sections and then labeled them using some of the probability nomenclature that we have been uh, introduced over the last couple of videos. So in this orange bit here, that looks a bit like a crescent moon, we have everything that is A, and not B. A and B, not A and B, and then not A and not B. And the reason why that is useful is that we can combine all of those into what is called a Carnap map, which is what I've got in the table to the right over there. And what it does is it represents the Venn diagram and all of the sections inside a Venn diagram in such a way that we can use that to calculate probabilities. Think of it like a, uh, a crossword or a Sudoku in that if you have a couple of pieces of information, using your knowledge of probability, you can fill out the rest of the table. So for example, if, so for example, what we need to be especially aware of is that at the end of the day, if you think about the probability of B happening, and the probability of not B happening, if you were to add those two probabilities together, well, that covers everything inside a sample space. So at the end of the day, whatever you have here, these two need to add to one. And these two also need to add to one. So you could have only a couple of pieces of information in here. So you could have, so there are eight spots to fill in because this bottom right corner is always the same. The probability of the event happening is always one. Of something happening is always one. And you could have, you know, three pieces of information on there and then from there, solve the entire thing. So I'll, I'll let's let's do an, let's do an example. So I've got a dash, and I've got b, b dash. So I could have point two. I could have down here. So obviously. You, Obviously, we'd have some lines in here to represent. What was going on? And I could put uh, 0 0.4 here and Point five there. So what I've got going on here is, well, I recognize that for these to add up to one, that also needs to be 0 0.5, that therefore needs to be 0 0.6. For that, for these, two, for these two to add to 0 0.5, that needs to be that needs to be 0.3. For these two to add together, that needs to be 0.1, and therefore these two need to be 0.4, because that is the only combination of probabilities that means these two add to this, these two add to the 0.4, and then horizontally they add up to 0.5. So by only having a couple of pieces of information we can use that to fill out the rest of the table. Where it gets tricky is when you have less than that, but there are rules that we can use to uh, calculate what is going on. So, what we can also do is incorporate some of the previous rules 
that we learnt in a previous chapter. So I'm just going to pull up my notes on the other side of the screen here. So we have, there's a rule that we have from a previous one, which is uh, PR, A, U, B, not, not N, U, so the union. And we know that that's PR, A plus PR, B minus PR, A. So we have that rule in our back pocket. So that if we happen to need this to calculate some of the other things, we can do that. I'll give you an example of how that works. So. I have a table that has uh, PR of A U B of 0 0.85, a probability of C happening of 0 0.45, and a probability of not D of 0 0.37. Sorry, should be internally consistent. So probability of A and B. So using what I've got here, I should, oh, B dash. I should be able to therefore calculate the rest of what's going on. So I'm going to draw my table. And I'm putting all my labels. The labels are important. Just make sure that you guys can see that. Yes, you can. Beautiful. And now I'm going to fill in the information that I know. All right. Now remember, based on the Karnam map, PRA goes in here, and I know that that's 0 0.45. Probability of B dash is 0 0.37. So I've got that. So we're off to a good start here. Because remember, because this has to equal 1, therefore I know that this has to equal 0.55, and this has to equal 0 0.63. So I've already got a whole bunch of information with that much effort. But I don't have anything inside. I don't have anything inside my um, Karnam map. That is where this chap comes in. This is the addition rule. Now, if you look through here, I know the probability of A because it's here. The probability of B, I don't know, but I know the probability of B dash, which means that if I know the probability of not B, I can then work out what the probability of B is happening, and that's down over here. So I'm going to underline that in red. Probability of A union B, I know that as well. Therefore, I know three pieces of information. I have a piece of information I don't know. I can use algebra and I can solve for that piece of information. So in this case here, I'm just going to zoom out to the smidge. I'm going to have 0 0.85 equals 0 0.45 plus 0 0.63 
minus PR A U or A and B. So that is going to add up to, so I'm going to have 0 0.85 equals 0, uh, sorry, that's going to be more than 1, but that's okay. That's going to be 1.08 minus the probability of A and B. I'm going to swap some things around, and I'm going to get the answer that the probability of A and B is going to be equal to 1.08 minus 85, or 8.85, which, when you calculate it, is 0 0.23. And because I have that 0 0.23, and because I have this, I now have this, which based on our Carnot map, goes in the top left corner, which means it goes in here. Well, hey presto, I now have one piece of the puzzle. I know that these two have to add, add up to this, so therefore that's 0 0.4. I know that these two have to add to uh, 0.55. That means that's gonna be 0 0.15. And I know that these two and these two have to add up to their respective numbers. This is going to be 22 or 0 0.22. And then when I add all of these up, they also will all add up to one. So by taking some of the rules that we already know about probability and combining them with a Carnot map, we can use that to divine and calculate all of the other probabilities that could possibly happen.